out of Tulare County where the SQF complex fire continues to burn. Some residents, though, are able to return home as evacuation orders are downgraded to warnings. It includes Cherokee Oaks, Three Rivers Road, and portions of South Fork. But while some people may have a home to go back to, our Angelic Leilani talked with one man who lost the cabin he built by his own hands more than five decades ago. The SQF complex fire ripping through mountain communities. Sequoia Crest, Cedar Slope, and Alpine Village, dozens of homes reduced to ashes. The cabin Bill Roberts built 55 years ago among them. It was very much a part of my life, and that is just gone. And it's hard to realize it's gone, and I can't even see what's left of it. Roberts, a civil engineer, grew up in Porterville. Alpine Village was his second home. I did most of the surveying, most of the building design on all the places in the mountains. And I, of course, was one of the developers. While Roberts is heartbroken over the loss of his family's home away from home, he's thankful they still have their main residence. But many others are not so lucky. Tulare County is offering services for folks impacted, including the older adult population. All they have to do is call 211. With that number, they are able to locate community resources. We can help them with government benefits. We can also assist them in finding a caregiver, um, get notarized documents should they need those. Um, understand any forms, understanding utilizing online services as well. Tulare County has released a map of properties damaged and destroyed within the SQF complex fire. Folks are able to search by address and they have photos attached. The map will be updated as more structures are evaluated. There's also a hotline folks can call. That's on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. Angelica Leilani, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.